So a little bit ago, I did a video on how you can target 10 skills with one book. Today, I'm going to show you how you can isolate a skill. Uh, you can isolate one or two skills. I'm going to show you a couple examples on what you can do if you isolate the question, the WH question where, and also if you, or if you isolate uh, prepositions. This book is called Where Spot by Eric Hill. It's a great book. Uh, it's pretty popular. So the first page says, let's start with emphasis, uh, sorry, honing in on or isolating the skill where, understanding the question where. Uh, it says, that spot, he hasn't eaten his supper. Where can he be? <gasps> is he behind the door? So if you're emphasizing where, where is he? Where is Spot? <gasps> no, he's not behind the door. Is he inside the clock? Where is he? Where is Spot? Where is he? <gasps> no, he's not inside the clock. So if you are targeting or isolating prepositions, you could put the emphasis on the preposition when you're speaking. For example, is he in the piano? Is Spot in? Is he inside? No, he's not in the piano. Is he under, under the stairs? Spot, are you under? <gasps> no, he's not under. So you can go through the book. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. This one's kind of cute though. Under the bed. So by the end of the book, the turtle actually tells the mommy dog, look in the basket. And then she looks in the basket. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> so after you decide, or after you isolate or target either the WH question where, or prepositions, or both, depending, you can follow it up with a simple activity. You can do a game or just a simple activity like this. Let's say the kiddo's favorite toy is a zebra. So you can put, this is my little bathtub You can from my doll set. You can put the zebra in the bathtub and say, where's the zebra? Where's zebra? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so if we're targeting where, you just, where's zebra? Where is she? Let's say it's a girl zebra. Where is she? Or you can say, where is it? If you don't put a gender on it. And then you could do under. So you can put her different places basically and keep going where, 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 ask the where question. If you want to do prepositions, you can emphasize the prepositions. So the child sees me put the zebra under the tub. Where's the zebra? Where is it? Hmm. Where's that zebra? <gasps> there it is. It was under the tub. Yay, we found it. So you can do on next to, in front of, uh, behind. So again, these are, this is just a simple activity that you can do to reinforce your isolated target after reading the book. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you did like it. Give me some comments and let me know what else you'd like to learn about. See ya.